Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. We've got a vintage collection review coming up. Um, we're taking a look at the Imperial Assault Tank Driver. Be with big thanks to Only One Kenobi for this one. Um, yeah, really excited to open this one up finally. Um, it is VC-126 on the back. Some other figures from the wave. I'm still in need of Emphis Nest. Um, so hopefully I can track down an Emphis at some point. Um, yeah, I was, I'll, these, this wave uh, with some of these Rogue One figures in it weren't easily available here in Australia. And uh, yeah, I slept too long and waited too long. And by the time I went to go get them, they were gone. So again, big thanks to only one Kenobi. But let's open this figure up and take a look. All right, here is the figure. And uh, just looking at this thing, um, it's just got me thinking about Rogue One in general and the fact that it's nearly four years since that movie was released. Um, that time jump is kind of scary. Um, it's, it's, you know, next December, not this one coming up, but December 2021, it'll be five year anniversary of Rogue One, which is just incredible. Um, it brought to us a lot of new designs, um, particularly with like this guy, the Shore Trooper, um, the Tank Commander, I think. This is the Tank Driver. Uh, the Tank Commander is similar. Um, he's got more, more markings on him and stuff, but essentially the same sort of armor and outfit. Slightly different helmet, I think, uh, from memory. I know the Black Series one had a slightly different helmet, um, more in range of like the Scouts. Uh, the, and just the shore troopers in general, but we've seen this sort of this sort of sleek design down the cheekbone there of the mask, and we sort of sort of seen that incorporated into the range trooper, which I will be reviewing next. It does come with a standard E11 blaster, which is fine. Um, if you're lucky enough to get one of the tanks, you'll most likely be just sitting in that anyway, and uh, he won't need it because he'll be driving a tank. <laughs> And tanks are tough. But yeah, I really like this trooper. Um, it's just, it's been really, really invigorating to see like more variations of armor added to the Imperial ranks for, you know, different things. Um, different occupations. Different atmospheres and different planets and stuff call for different styles of armor to sort of, to sort of weather whatever planet throws at them. Um, as opposed to just your classic Imperial Stormtroopers, Snowtroopers, Scout Troopers, which we uh, had for so many years. Yeah, done a really good job with the weathering on this one. I do have the 5 POA version of this figure. Um, I can't remember when I got that, or where it came from, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but it's cool. But yeah, to have this guy standing next to him with his blaster all posed up, a bit of weathering. Dirty on the boots there, on the boot armor. Just sort of weathering all over the all over the place. It's fantastic. It looks great. Looks like he's been uh you know he's been on his Jetta mission for quite a while. Not enough time to really stop it and polish the armor on on evenings and you know downtime between shifts or whatever. But yeah, really, really cool looking figure. Really happy to have this one in my collection, finally. Let's try to get up close and have a look. There we go. I do love that there's just a slight little groove for like the... to symbolise the sort of Stormtrooper mouth, I guess you call it. But yeah, great figure. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you on the next video. Till then, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.